Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use a picture-in-picture -picture effect to display a map um, in a 3D game scene in Unity. So um, basically what we'll do is we'll use the picture-in-picture -picture effect or the PIP effect to display a map up in the right hand corner. So we're going to have a first person view in the game taking up the entire screen and up in the right hand corner of the screen we'll have a map which will show a little blip which will um, represent where the player is located on the map or in the scene. Okay, so I've already added a few objects and assets to this scene. So firstly, I've got a first person controller with a first person character. So um, if you're not sure how to add that, then make sure you go back to the um, character controllers tutorial. Um, I've got some water, I've got terrain, I've got a directional light, and I've got a camera here which I've already called map cam. Okay, so um, if you're not sure how to add cameras, then make sure you go back to the cameras tutorial and also the advanced camera techniques tutorial. But basically to add a camera, you can just click on game object and camera, and then you'll have a camera in your hierarchy. You can give it a name like I have, and then go from there. Okay, so this camera I've already set up, basically um, in you know position above my terrain and I've set up the rotation so that it's looking directly down on my scene from above looking straight down so it's a top view of this terrain here so the rotation of x is 90 y is 180 and z is 0 so it's perfectly looking down on my scene from above okay now I've got my first person character somewhere in here um, right there and what I want to do is I want to create an object that will attach to my first person character so that it's visible on the map, but it's not visible um, by the player in first person view. So um, I'm just going to create a simple object like a sphere and that sphere will be visible in the map view or map cam from above, um, but the character or the player won't actually see it in the main um, camera view in the first person view. So what we'll do is go up to game object 3D object and then click on sphere. You can add any object you like, but a sphere is a nice easy one. Um, and then we'll just double click on this sphere. It's down here. What we want to do is we want to make this sphere nice and visible. So I'm going to add a material and texture to it. So I've already got this red material here. So I'll just drag that straight onto my sphere. So now it's red. Um, and I've got the scale tool selected. So I'm going to click on my sphere and I'm going to scale it up so it's nice and big. Might need to make it bigger or smaller, but um, we'll come back to that in a minute. Now the sphere needs to be in the same position as the first person controller. So it's going to be attached to the first person controller. Um, so it needs to be in exactly the same location as the first person character so that um, it accurately represents where the character is located on the map. So if we go to the first person controller, we can see the X, Y, and Z positions. So we pretty much need to copy these values in onto this sphere, X, Y, and Z position. So I've copied the X position, which is 352.07. We'll go to sphere, and I'll paste that there. I'll go back to the first person controller, copy the Y position. So just control C or command C, and copy that there. Uh, and then it's actually pretty close. It's almost exactly the same. So I'll copy the Z position, um, which is pretty much the same. So now if we double click on the sphere and we double click on the first person controller, we can see that they're located in exactly the same position. All right, now what we can do with this sphere is we can actually just drag it onto the first person controller there. So it's actually attached to the first person controller and it's a child of the FPS controller. So we click on the sphere and just drag it onto first person controller. It now is underneath, so it's actually underneath FPS controller, which means it's a child of the FPS controller. So the FPS controller is a parent and sphere is a child. So wherever the FPS controller goes, the sphere will also go with it. Now if we go to the map cam, we can see that um, the red little blip here, the sphere, is actually in the camera. It's right right there as a little dot. But 
we need to actually make the sphere a little bit bigger because it's not very visible. So we've got the scale tool selected. We'll just scale that up a bit more. Go back to the map cam. And now we can see that a bit more clearly there on the map. There's a, a proper red little dot there. Okay, so that's the first part. All right, so we've got the map cam all set up nicely now. Um, and we've got the um, sphere attached to the first person controller. Right, what we need to do now is we actually have two cameras here. So we've got a camera attached to the first person character. So when you go to the first person character in the hierarchy and you go to the inspector, you'll see there's a camera here. All right, um, and you also see on the, um, where is it, the map cam here, there's obviously a camera there in the inspector. Um, but you'll see that if we just look down here, where is it? Um, don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we've got audio listener here. Okay, so the audio listener is selected or enabled on the map cam, and it's also enabled on the first person character. We can't have more than two, well, sorry, we can't have more than one audio listener in a scene. So we actually need to disable the map cam audio listener so that we only have the audio listener coming from the first person character. If you have both enabled, then you'll get error messages. Um, so you, you can only have one um, audio listener in a scene, okay? And we want the one on the first person character so we can actually hear the footsteps of the character moving around when they jump, all of that. Okay, so the map cam is all pretty much set up there, um, apart from where it's gonna be located on the screen. So if we go to the first person character here, we click on that. This is actually going to be the main character, the main camera. So um, the whole of the screen is going to be taken up with the first person view. So what we'll do is we'll set the depth to minus one. Okay. Um, so it's going to have a lower depth than the map cam because the map cam is going to be placed on top of the first person camera. Okay. So it's going to have a depth of minus one. The viewport rec X and Y positions will both be zero and the width and height will be, well, they'll both be ones. It's taking up the whole of the screen there. Okay. We'll go to the map cam and we'll change the depth to zero. Well, it's actually already zero. So this means it's going to have a higher depth than the first person camera. So it'll be displayed on top of that camera. Okay. With viewport rec with these properties here, the X position and Y position will both be 0 0.75. So change those to 0 0.75. And the width will take up 20% um, of the screen and the height will also take up 20% of the screen. So we'll change that to 0 0.2 for width and 0 0.2 for height. And just hit return. Okay, um, so now we've got the map cam set up for a picture in picture effect. Okay, so that's set up. Um, the sphere is attached to the first person controller. The camera is set up correctly on the first person character. Um, so it should be pretty much ready to go. All right, so we'll click on play. Okay, now we can see up in the top right hand corner here, we've got the um, top view map cam camera up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. And we've got that little red sphere uh, on the map there as well. Okay, now we can walk around and as we walk, you can see that that red blip is also moving on the map. So it might actually run, see that red dot move faster. Okay, so what we might do is we'll go back this way. Let's see if we can actually get up this hill here. And in a moment, we should be able to see water. There we go. Okay, there's the water. So the red sphere follows the character controller around on the map because it's, you know, it's um, a, a child of the first person controller. So it goes wherever it goes. So um, you might want to use a different shape, maybe like an arrow instead of a sphere. So you can see what direction it's pointing. Okay, so that's pretty cool. The only other thing now we need to do is um, disable one layer so that, um, I mean, right now we can't, in the first person 
camera, we can't actually see the sphere. Um, but if you want to have some things visible um, in one camera and not visible in another camera, that's when you need to start using layers. So that's what we'll look at in the next tutorial. All right. Um, and if you want, you can go on to more advanced picture and picture maps and you can have a map that basically follows the player around. So if I had have walked, um, you know, around this part of the map and I kept on going further, the red dot would disappear off the map. So it would no longer be on the map. Um, even though we're still moving around the scene. So what you can do is you can actually have it so that the camera moves with the character and it will keep moving with the map. Um, so that's something that you can also play around with as well, have the camera follow the player. Okay, that's um, all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll look at layers, um, how to hide and show um, different objects in our game on different layers. Thanks for watching.